Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be finding the largest exponential number using the digit 2 four times. So this is a puzzle, uh, and we haven't done puzzles for a very long time, actually. We've only done one puzzle, I think, in the past. But anyways, this is a really cool problem, and it's from Algebra Can Be Fun by uh, Per Alman, and I think the other author's name is Jankowski. Correct me if I'm wrong. So... We're going to be using these and basically generate exponential numbers. Obviously, the first number we can do is the smallest one. That's not going to be the largest, but let's just go over some cases. You can put the twos together and make it 2,222. Or you can kind of take three twos and then make one of the twos an exponent. So it's going to be like 222 squared. Or you can make 22 to the power 22, or you can just take the 2 and raise it to the power 222. So these are some of the options. Obviously, they're not the uh, whole thing. We're going to write more numbers, but these are basically numbers that you can write by changing the number of digits you use for the base and the exponent every time. And then we can kind of use make a tower of height 3, such as you can have 22 to the power 2 to the power 2, is one or you can kind of put the 22 here as an exponent and then raise it to the second power or you can make 2 to the power 2 to the power 22 and finally you can have 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 so we have eight different options right I don't think you can write any other number with these of course we're kind of you know using exponents here and noticed that notice that the first number that we wrote is the smallest one. So we're not going to have to worry about it anymore. We can kind of cross it out. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and pick uh, a couple number every time and just compare them. Now, since we already got rid of the 2222 in the top row, we can kind of look at the other numbers. For example, take a look at the third number in the top row, which is 22 to the power 22. So let's go ahead and write it in a different way. First of all, uh, I want to compare it to a power of 2. And 32 happens to be a good candidate here, like a choice. So I can basically say that this is less than 32 to the power 22. And then 32 is 2 to the 5th power. And then this just becomes 2 to the power 110, because you are supposed to multiply 5 times 22. And obviously, if you look at the last number in the top row, you're going to notice that our number here is going to be less than 2 to the power 222. Because if you look at their exponents, 110 is definitely less than 222. So that's pretty much the greatest number in the top row. Okay? It is our greatest number from the top row. We still have to check. We still have to check the bottom row, and then we're going to make a decision based on that. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers at the bottom right now. Now, if you look at the fourth number from the left, you're going to get 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 to the power 2. Now, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 4 is 16, and so basically, this number is just going to turn into 2 to the power 16. And obviously, if you look at all the other cases, I mean, just think about 2 to the power 222, the number that comes from the top row, you're going to notice that this is going to be way too small. So we're not going to have to worry about it. Cool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other numbers. How about the, the first number uh, from the left? We have 22 to the power 2 squared. And it's it basically means 22 to the fourth power. And again, we can compare this to a power of 2, which happens to be 32 again. So this is less than... 32 to the 4th power, which is 2 to the 5th power to the 4th power, which is 2 to the power 20, which is less than, now I'm going to compare it, I'm going to compare it to the second number in the bottom row, which is this one, because notice that 22 obviously is just going to be much, much smaller than 22 squared, right? If you look at these two exponents, basically, since they have the same base, all I need to do is compare their exponents. And it's obviously clear that this number is less than that number. Make sense? Okay, great. So now, 
basically we are left with a couple numbers let's see what they are we have 2 to the power 22 squared which comes from here and then we have 2 to the power 2 to the power 22 which is basically the third number in the second row and then from the top row we have 2 to the power 222 if you remember we said that hey this number is the greatest in the top row okay cool so we have three candidates and let's go ahead and compare them but comparing these numbers is fairly easy because if you look at their exponents look at that this is 484 oh man that's a large number we'll talk about that later and this is just 220 notice that 484 is definitely greater than that so that's this number cannot be the greatest but if you compare these two numbers now look at the exponents one of them is 484 the other one is 2 to the power 22 obviously even 2 to the power 10 is greater than 484 so 2 to the power 20 is just going to be much much larger than that number therefore this number is also going to fail but be careful that's not our number that's just the exponent where the base is 2 so this looks like the largest greatest number here so let's go ahead and take a look at this number like I take a closer look okay so what does this number look like just to give you an idea about the magnitude okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use 2 to the power 22 so I can do a little approximation here using the fact that 2 to the 10th power is 1024 so I can kind of break it down like this and notice that 2 to the second power is 4 and this is 1024 squared but notice that 1024 is greater than 1000 so I can write it as 4 times 1000 squared but 1000 is 3 to the not 3 10 to the third power therefore this number is just going to equal 4 times 10 to the sixth power in other words that is going to be 4 million so our number 2 to the power 22 is definitely greater than this number let's go ahead and rewrite it 2 to the power 22 is greater than 4 million that's a very large number isn't it now what happens if I use that as an exponent because remember that was our largest number right 2 to the power that so 2 to the power 2 to the power 22 is now going to be greater than since this exponent is greater than 4 million this number is going to be greater than 2 to the power 4 million right and this can be written as 2 to the 10th power to the power 400,000 and 2 to the 10th power is definitely 1024 so it's going to be greater than 1000 to the power 400,000 and guess what 1000 can be written as 10 to the third power and when you raise it to the power 400,000 those numbers are multiplied and we end up with 10 to the power 1 million 200 or you can write, write it as you can say it as 1.2 million wow that is just crazy this number right here has more than this number has more than 1.2 million digits can you imagine that you have a number that has more than 1.2 million digits and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye